After nearly five decades of continuous communication, Voyager 1, humanity's most distant ambassador, has transmitted what may be its final coherent message from the edge of interstellar space. NASA scientists who received this transmission describe it as both haunting and revolutionary. What the spacecraft revealed in its last moments of contact could fundamentally alter our understanding of the boundary between our solar system and the vast cosmos beyond. But before we dive into this unprecedented revelation, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss groundbreaking discoveries like this one. Show Voyager one spacecraft illustration against Starfield. So what exactly did Voyager 1 tell us in its final words? Launched on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 embarked on a mission that would redefine humanity's reach into the cosmos. Originally designed to study Jupiter and Saturn during a four-year mission, this remarkable spacecraft defied every expectation, continuing to operate for more than 12 times its planned lifespan. For decades, it served as our eyes and ears in regions of space no human-made object had ever explored. For years, scientists believed they understood the nature of the heliosphere, the protective bubble of solar wind and magnetic fields that surrounds our solar system. Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in August 2012, becoming the first human-made object to venture beyond the sun's influence. The data it transmitted back challenged fundamental assumptions about this cosmic transition zone, but what researchers thought they knew about the edge of our solar system was merely the beginning. Everything changed in recent months when engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed alarming anomalies in Voyager 1's telemetry data. The spacecraft, now more than 15 billion miles from Earth, so distant that radio signals take over 22 hours to reach it, began transmitting garbled, incoherent sequences. Communication specialists worked frantically to diagnose the problem, cycling through backup systems and sending commands into the void, waiting nearly two days for each response. Then, after weeks of digital silence and corrupted transmissions, Voyager 1's signal suddenly stabilized. But what it sent back wasn't routine engineering data. The instruments, particularly the plasma wave subsystem and the cosmic ray subsystem, had detected something extraordinary in the final moments before multiple systems began their inevitable shutdown. The spacecraft's ancient computer, operating on less processing power than a modern key fob, had prioritized one last critical transmission. The transmission revealed measurements that defied existing models of interstellar space. Voyager 1's instruments detected a massive, previously unknown structure in the interstellar medium, a dense region of plasma and cosmic rays that appears to form a boundary layer far more complex than anything predicted by current astrophysics. Display data visualization. The density readings showed fluctuations over 300% higher than the surrounding interstellar medium, forming what scientists are now calling an interstellar weather front. But the measurements went beyond mere density anomalies. The spacecraft's magnetometer recorded magnetic field orientations that shouldn't exist in the theorized interstellar environment. These fields displayed organized, almost lattice-like patterns, suggesting structure where astronomers expected relative uniformity. The magnetic field strength measured 0.56 nanoteslas, more than double the expected baseline for this region of space. What scientists discovered next left them speechless. Show comparison graphics, the cosmic ray subsystem, which measures high-energy particles from distant supernovae and galactic events, detected a surge of particles with energy signatures that don't match any known source within our galaxy. The isotopic composition of these cosmic rays suggests they may have originated from beyond the Milky Way, possibly from the intergalactic medium itself, or from objects in distant galaxy clusters. But that's not even the strangest part. The plasma wave subsystem picked up oscillations, rhythmic patterns in the plasma density that repeat with eerie regularity. These oscillations occur approximately every 26 days, a periodicity that has no obvious explanation. 
Natural cosmic phenomena rarely display such precise timing. Some researchers have compared these patterns to the standing waves created when ocean swells encounter a barrier. Suggesting Voyager, one may have detected the echo of our heliosphere interacting with a much larger interstellar structure. To understand the scale of this discovery, consider this. The region Voyager 1 explored is approximately 159 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit equals the distance from Earth to the Sun, about 93 million miles. At this boundary, the spacecraft encountered conditions that suggest the interstellar medium isn't the relatively smooth cosmic ocean scientists envision, but rather a turbulent, structured environment filled with currents, eddies, and massive formations that dwarf our entire solar system. The temperature readings added another layer of mystery. The plasma wave subsystem indirectly measured electron temperatures exceeding 30,000 Kelvin, far hotter than anticipated. Show thermal visualization. This extreme heat suggests energetic processes at work in interstellar space that current models simply don't account for. What could generate and sustain such temperatures in the supposed cold vacuum between stars? However, the implications of this finding are even more disturbing. If these structures exist throughout interstellar space, they would fundamentally affect how we understand stellar formation, galactic dynamics, and even the propagation of light across cosmic distances. The empty space between stars may be far more active and influential than anyone imagined. And the data revealed something no one anticipated, gravitational anomalies. By analyzing Doppler shifts in Voyager 1's carrier signal over extended periods, mission scientists detected minute accelerations that don't align with the gravitational influence of known stellar objects. Display trajectory analysis. These micro-accelerations, though tiny, measured in fractions of a millimeter per second squared, suggest unseen mass distributions in the interstellar medium, or perhaps previously undetected physical forces at work on these scales. What this means for our understanding of the galaxy cannot be overstated. For decades, astrophysical models treated interstellar space as relatively homogeneous, a thin soup of gas and dust with occasional dense molecular clouds. Voyager 1's final transmission suggests instead that interstellar space possesses structure, boundaries, and dynamic processes on par with those within stellar systems themselves. This discovery challenges the very foundations of how we model stellar neighborhoods. If dense plasma structures and organized magnetic fields exist throughout interstellar space, they would affect everything from star formation to the propagation of cosmic rays that eventually reach Earth and influence our climate. Show galactic map visualization. The protective bubble of our heliosphere may not be unique. Countless stars might generate similar structures, and the interactions between these bubbles could create the complex architecture Voyager 1 detected. Leading astronomers have expressed both excitement and concern about these findings. According to recent statements from NASA's Heliophysics Division, the data represents the most significant challenge to our understanding of the local interstellar medium in 50 years. Some researchers have called for immediate planning of an interstellar probe mission, specifically designed to explore these newly discovered structures with modern instrumentation. But the implications extend beyond pure astrophysics. If interstellar space contains organized structures and unexpected energetic phenomena, future interstellar missions, whether robotic or eventually crewed, will need to account for navigation hazards and radiation environments far more complex than currently modeled. The dream of sending probes to nearby star systems like Alpha Centauri suddenly faces new uncertainties about the true nature of the journey through interstellar space. Scientists are now questioning whether similar structures might exist throughout the galaxy, potentially creating a vast network of interstellar boundaries that could affect galactic-scale processes. Could these plasma fronts play a role in how matter and energy distribute throughout the galaxy? Might they influence the formation of stellar nurseries 
or the dispersal of heavy elements from supernovae. This raises serious concerns about our current models of galactic evolution. If the interstellar medium possesses far more structure and energy than previously recognized, simulations of galaxy formation and stellar population dynamics may require fundamental revisions. Show simulation comparison. The smooth approximation used in countless cosmological calculations might have led us to systematically incorrect conclusions about how galaxies grow and evolve over billions of years. Perhaps most provocatively, some researchers have begun to speculate about whether these organized structures could affect the transmission of light and electromagnetic radiation across interstellar distances. If so, measurements of distant objects, from nearby stars to far galaxies, might require recalibration to account for distortions introduced by this newly discovered interstellar architecture. What remains unknown dwarfs what Voyager 1 managed to reveal. The spacecraft's aging instruments, designed in the 1970s, possessed neither the sensitivity nor the range to fully characterize the structures they encountered. Modern plasma analyzers, magnetometers, and particle detectors could provide a hundred times more detail about these interstellar phenomena. But Voyager 1's power supply, generated by decaying plutonium-238, has finally reached the threshold where maintaining even basic systems has become impossible. What scientists plan to investigate next centers on a critical question. Are these structures localized anomalies in our particular region of the galaxy, or do they represent a universal feature of interstellar space? Answering this requires new missions. NASA and ESA have begun preliminary discussions about an interstellar probe mission that could launch in the 2030s, equipped with next-generation instruments, specifically designed to map the three-dimensional structure of the interstellar medium. The timeline for these investigations stretches across decades. Even with advanced propulsion systems under consideration, including solar oberth maneuvers and possibly solar sails, a dedicated interstellar probe would require 1520 years to reach the distances where Voyager 1 made its final discoveries. And that assumes funding, political will, and technological development proceed without major setbacks, optimistic assumptions in the realm of space exploration. Multiple possible explanations exist for the phenomena Voyager 1 detected, and scientists remain divided about which interpretation holds merit. Some researchers propose that the structures represent the boundary effects of the local bubble, a 300-light-year-wide cavity of hot, low-density gas created by ancient supernovae that surrounds our solar system. According to this hypothesis, Voyager 1 detected the inner wall of this bubble, where the rarefied interior meets denser interstellar clouds. Others suggest a more exotic explanation, that the organized magnetic fields and plasma oscillations indicate the presence of interstellar current sheets, vast electrical currents flowing through space plasma that could stretch for light years. These currents, predicted by plasma cosmology models but never definitively detected, might play a crucial role in structuring the interstellar medium and transferring energy across galactic scales. A third hypothesis, more speculative but gaining attention, proposes that Voyager 1 encountered the gravitational and electromagnetic effects of a rogue planetary system, or brown dwarf, a failed star too dim to detect at such distances, but massive enough to create the gravitational anomalies recorded in the telemetry. If true, this would mean undiscovered stellar objects lurk in the darkness between known stars, their presence revealed only when spacecraft happen to pass nearby. The broader cosmic implications stretch into territory that borders on philosophical. If interstellar space possesses this much complexity and structure, what does that mean for our assumptions about the universe at larger scales? Could intergalactic space, the vast voids between galaxies, harbor similar surprises? Show cosmic web visualization. Might the entire universe possess layers of organization and structure that are 
earthbound perspective and limited data have simply failed to recognize. Only time will tell whether Voyager 1's final transmission represents the end of an era or the beginning of a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos. As the spacecraft's nuclear battery continues its inexorable decay, the remaining instruments will fall silent one by one over the coming months and years. The plasma wave subsystem, which provided much of the groundbreaking data, has likely already ceased operations. Soon, Voyager 1 will become a silent monument to human ingenuity, drifting through the galaxy for eons, perhaps eventually to be recovered by future civilizations as an archaeological curiosity. But one question remains that may haunt astronomers for decades. What else is out there in the darkness between stars? If Voyager 1 stumbled upon these structures almost by accident while traveling along a single trajectory, what vast formations, energetic phenomena, and cosmic architectures remain undiscovered throughout the 100,000 light-year expanse of the Milky Way? As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, discoveries like Voyager 1's final transmission remind us how much we have yet to learn. The spacecraft, launched when the world was a fundamentally different place, has served as humanity's envoy to the stars for nearly half a century. Now, as its voice fades into the cosmic static, it leaves us with more questions than answers, and perhaps that is the greatest gift any scientific mission can provide. What do you think about these mysterious interstellar structures? Could this be evidence of a far more complex and dynamic universe than our models suggest? Or might there be even more exotic explanations for what Voyager 1 encountered in its final days of operation? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this revelation as fascinating as we did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more groundbreaking space discoveries. And don't forget to check out our video on the Voyager Golden Record, Humanity's Message to the Stars, where we explore the cultural and scientific content that Voyager carries as an ambassador of Earth to any extraterrestrial intelligence that might one day encounter it. Until next time, space lovers, keep looking up, and remember that every answer we find among the stars leads to deeper, more profound questions about our place in this vast, mysterious universe. Voyager 1 may have sent its final message, but the conversation about what it discovered has only just begun.